good, right? A little pick a rune, hook a rune. All right, guys, the sun is in my eyes, but I'm Jake. You're watching Dude Ranch DIY. I am joined here by Chris and the ever faithful Kubota L3901 tractor. Um, behind us is an empty IBC tote and the rugged made RS737. A couple little uh, extra doodads here and there, some modifications, um, including auto cycle, a dump valve, and hydraulic wedge lift. Um, which do not come standard on the machine, but we have added those on to increase productivity. Um, this afternoon, we got a nice big pile of Norway maple uh, rounds, all, all bucked up. Chris was just uh, admiring the, the Fiskars Picaroon and moving them from the pile to the splitter. Um, and we're going to get them split up. You all right? Yeah. What, what was that? I was showing off the pickaroon and it slipped out of my hands. Oh, right. well, it's a, it's a little cold and icy. So uh, before he impales himself with the hookaroon, we're going to get to splitting. <laughs>
right guys that was uh, the third tote for today second tote in this video um, the first tote will be in the video I guess prior to this where we timed how long it would take to split a tote um, now I'm turning on the moisture meter now this all, all of this Norway maple wood was live right all those trees were alive yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so we did a small land clearing job on about, what was that, like an acre probably? Probably. About, about an acre. It was, I think we counted 45 trees, yeah. give or take, a little more or less action there. Um, and we dropped them all. It started out as a small job, two or three trees being taken down, turned into clear cut. The guy wants lawn. Um, now, this is all Norway maple, and they were green. Obviously, it's all freshly split. So let's see what we got here. What do you think? I'm going with... 35. 35? I'm going to say 29. All right. Let's say 29. Maybe I'm being hopeful. We're at 22%, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Now, maybe it's because it's frozen. Could be. That could be because, oh, it's going down. But it's saying 21% here. So. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you find that temperature affects moisture content. Because obviously this is all just freshly split. I, I feel like it probably would. Because yeah. this is sensing moisture and... Is it ice moisture? I don't know. I don't know. They didn't teach us that in, uh, in college. So this piece, 23.5. Let's do a piece from over here. This piece, 20, 22, I'm getting, there's no way that, no, I'm not buying it. I don't know, because even if you burn green frozen wood, it doesn't, doesn't like to take. It's right, like, but well, because it thaws moisture. out. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know. So, posing a question for you guys, does being frozen affect moisture content i i would assume it, it would have to because these results i mean these trees were alive yeah i mean and even on those warmer days there was sap dripping out of them you know in the back of the trailer so all right i don't know if the moisture content reading uh, on this video is all that accurate but um that's where we're at we got three totes filled up what time is it do we know we started at 3.30. It's 4.48. 4.48. So that's an hour and 18 minutes. And we had a lot of futzing around with the cameras and everything. Ran out of gas. Yeah. About to run out of gas again. We probably did that in 45 minutes to an hour. I'd Some say, yeah, the two of us cutting out all the, all the BS. Yeah. So that's pretty good. I can't complain about that. No, it's a good day. Oh yeah, not not bad. Well, all right, guys, that's it. We're getting cold. It's got to be probably what 27 degrees <laughs> out or something like that. Yeah, Tomorrow it's supposed to be a high of 18 degrees with 30 miles an hour winds for a consistent balmy zero degree temperature tomorrow. And then Saturday it's supposed to dip down to negative five. So we. I don't know, our Indian summer or Indian winter, whatever, the warm winter has oh. left and the cold winter <laughs> has come. They're predicting like seven to 15 inches of snow this upcoming Monday. So we kind of filmed two videos today so I can try and get a little content out, spread it out. So we might be busy at work oh, yeah. doing snow removal. Yeah, For those wow, of you that wow. did know, Chris and I work together at the same job. Uh, that's how we know each other. But enough chit chat. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Chris appreciates it, although not as much as I do. Um, we have fun doing this stuff. We like making the firewood. We like recycling it. It's better than just sending it off to the dump. Um, that way multiple people can enjoy it in their fireplaces and wood stoves and fire pits and whatever they do with it. Um, but that's it. So if you guys like this stuff, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, like I always say, hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of you haven't done it because a lot of my viewers, it shows me in the analytics, haven't done it, so do it. Be sure to share with your friends. I'm Jake. 
I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.